Well, this is the time of year you're going to get something in the mail. Well, yes, this is the time of year for home insurance renewals. They're out. So I'm here with Whitney Ritchie, the president of Ritchie Insurance Group, to talk about what are the best practices? What do you do? Okay, so yeah, we're with the right person here. Uh, welcome to First Coast Living. Thank you. It's great to be back. I appreciate it. Always great to have you. You're just a wealth of knowledge. And insurance renewals are going out, so mm -hmm. what should homeowners look for? Yeah, so the, the big thing is going to be the sticker shock this year. Mm -hmm. There are big rate increases that are coming across mm -hmm. all carriers. So we want to make sure that people don't miss that when it comes in the mail. They want to get that renewal. They want to mm -hmm. look at it. And for many homeowners, it's going to be both their insurance premiums and their taxes that are going up this year. And considering that most homeowners have their homeowners insurance paid through their escrow, mm -hmm. it's very possible that they're going to have a shortage. So first thing, I would get with your lender and see if, if that's coming for you, how to plan for a potential escrow shortage so you don't get hit with a double whammy the following year um, for that rate going up. Right, mm -hmm. a lot of families live in paycheck to paycheck, so right. more important than ever to have a plan mm -hmm. this time around. Exactly. Also, there's something called a, a FIGA assessment. What is that? Yeah, so this is another uh, unfun thing. Um, we've had 10 plus insurance carriers go insolvent last year, mm -hmm. and there are homeowners who have covered claims that were with a carrier that's no longer around. Mm -hmm. So those are transferred over to the state, and FIGA has uh, um, approved a special assessment um, on all non-auto insurance policies in Florida. So you'll see it on your homes, you'll see it under rental properties, boat insurance, and it's an extra um, assessment that's going to pay for these claims for folks that were with an insolvent carrier. Okay, so there is help. Uh, when There's help for them, yeah, but that's a thing we get asked every day, all day. Uh, Our phone is ringing. What is this FIGA assessment? Yeah, and it's, you know, we do have to pay it. We uh -huh. hope that some of the recent legislation that has passed that's put us in the, the right direction, a course correction, if you will, will mm -hmm. help that from happening in the future. But for now, we got to pay it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, what is the latest uh, with this MMAA endorsement? So yes. there's something else, another acronym, MMAA. Mm -hmm. okay. So it stands for Mandatory Mediation Arbitration Agreement. Okay. Okay. And in exchange for a reduced premium, carriers are offering an option for an endorsement where you can agree to go to a neutral third party for arbitration if mm -hmm. there's a dispute about a claim. Okay. So what we've seen, most clients um, have been very excited about this. Right. They're, you know, they feel that they would be well protected if there is a dispute that they could get that, a good resolution through arbitration. And they are very pleased for an option to have a reduction in their premium. So more options always a good That's thing. That's what I think. It's you know not for everyone. That's why I say look out for that. If it's something that you don't want, then make sure that you don't select it right. going forward. Um, but that's you know a, a common acronym or a common question that we're getting about what that is. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's encouraging. And of course, we can't finish without talking about citizens. Okay, yes. we have hurricane season upon mm -hmm. us. What's the latest with citizens? I know there's a lot of folks with a citizens insurance. Correct. What do they need to know? Yeah, so we, we spoke in the past, you know, citizens is designed to be the insurer of last resort. Right. And in many ways with 10 carriers going under and these massive rate increases, we're pretty much there in many ways. So as we're seeing a flood of new policies going over to citizens, mm -hmm. there have been um, certain um, additional education and things that are going on about exactly what that means. Probably the biggest one since mm -hmm. we spoke last is that Citizens has required every insurance agency owner to take an additional class all about the assessment that is a possibility for citizens policyholders. Now it's in the application, everybody signs off in big writing that says that mm -hmm. I understand that if there's not enough money in reserves at the end of the policy period that all citizens policyholders could be assessed up to 45% of their premium at the end of the year, okay. which is steep. So they wanna make sure that every agency owner, every person that's writing citizens understands this and that it is being properly communicated to the policyholders. Okay. Um, so that's one thing we talked in the past about the requirement for flood insurance right that's happening now that is, is in effect so if you're in a high-risk flood zone um, those and you're with citizens those policyholders are required to carry flood insurance with exactly matching limits to um, their citizens policy mm -hmm. and then the third thing and this is brand new mm -hmm. um, this is a new eligibility requirement if you have a policy in the private market starting very recently you're not able to get a citizens policy unless it's at your renewal Got so it. as we mentioned previously you don't want to miss that mail. You if don't. you didn't notice that your premium went up until now and it renewed back in December, Citizens is not going to be an option for you until your upcoming renewal. All right, mm -hmm. Whitney, thank you so much. As always, yes. a lot of good information. Mm -hmm. Check the mail, and if you yes. have questions, you can call Whitney. Yes, sure. Richie okay. Insurance Richie. Group is our company. And if I could add one more thing, um, I just want to 
there's a, a inclination for people to quick rush and shop and see when they see that sticker shock of that mm -hmm. high increase. But people should keep in mind that they would have to go through new underwriting for a new policy. And we don't want to see a big influx of policyholders changing carriers to save two, three hundred dollars only to find themselves either being canceled by their new carrier or getting a list of thousands of dollars of repairs that are required to stay with them. Mm -hmm. So it's best to be in communication with your agent. They should be able to advise you on is this one that makes sense to move mm -hmm. or are we best to make some adjustments to your coverage? Should we look at higher deductibles? Do you need that super comprehensive endorsement on there? Okay. So there's not a one size fits all solution. Got it. That makes so much sense. And yeah. thank you as always. So you bet. I appreciate and, it. And of course, yes, head to our uh, Home Connect TV. It's on seven days a week, hundreds of homes for sale across the First Coast. And of course, you can head to our website, firstcoastliving.net for more on this.